Considering it's practically the biggest movie franchise in history, it can be pretty hard to keep track of what's going on in the MCU and what's coming up. And while Marvel's next phases are still shrouded in secrecy, we do know a few of the upcoming projects slated for release. In early 2018, writer-director James Gunn confirmed that the third installment of the ridiculously successful Guardians of the Galaxy franchise would be on its way in 2020, and a few months later, he announced via Twitter that a script had been completed. But an unexpected turn of events threatened to kill the film entirely. Amid a kerfuffle over some years-old, highly inappropriate tweets made by Gunn, Disney decided to part ways with the director. It was heartbreaking news for fans, not to mention the cast, who uniformly stood behind Gunn in a joint public statement. Eventually, it was reported that the House of Mouse were to use Gunn's script but would not bring him back as director. Luckily for Guardians fans everywhere, Disney announced in March 2019 that Gunn would be rejoining the Marvel Universe after all for Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. Unfortunately, the whole firing scandal means the project's release date, which was originally set for 2020, is now up in the air, but that seems a small price to pay for Gunn's triumphant return to the director's chair. He may have been last seen crumbling to dust in the arms of Tony Stark at the end of Avengers Infinity War, but the drama of that moment was tempered slightly by the fact that we all knew Tom Holland's Peter Parker would be back to web-sling another day. It was known well in advance of the character's dusting that Holland would be appearing in more than one Spidey solo film. And sure enough, it was later confirmed that Spider-Man Far From Home would take place after the events of Avengers Endgame. This sequel will see young Parker going on a European excursion with his classmates, a relaxing sojourn which turns not so relaxing when Nick Fury and Maria Hill show up to enlist him in the fight against a team of mysterious elemental monsters. Joining the cast is Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio, a longtime Spider-Man nemesis in the comics who, if the trailer is to be believed, is actually fighting on the side of the good guys, at first at least. But fans know that Mysterio is prone to whipping up all manner of intricate illusions in support of his criminal schemes. So there's a good chance there may be more to his relationship to Spidey's new foes than meets the eye. Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow has popped up in no fewer than six MCU films, and has exactly the kind of shady past that would be ripe for further exploration, should Marvel choose to go that route. And although a Black Widow solo flick has been rumored for years, it has finally been confirmed that we're actually going to get one. The film got the green light in mid-2018, and Marvel has already begun filling out its team. Writer Jack Schaefer was hired before the project was even greenlit, and after meeting with over 70 potential directors, the studio finally settled on Australian filmmaker Kate Shortland. Shortland's filmography isn't exactly extensive. She's perhaps best known for 2012's lore, a little seen but critically acclaimed historical drama. But if there's one thing we know about Marvel, it's that their out-of-left-field directorial choices nearly always turn out to be blindingly brilliant in hindsight. For now, fans can be assured that the project is in good hands. And all they can reasonably ask is that Schaefer and Shortland clue us in as to what really happened in Budapest. Just like Budapest all over again! You and I remember Budapest very differently. With 2016's Doctor Strange a smash hit and the character playing such a crucial role in the conflict with Thanos, it seemed like a no-brainer that the Sorcerer Supreme would play a major role in the MCU's fourth phase. An unconfirmed report citing an anonymous source from The Mirror suggests that Benedict Cumberbatch has received a huge pay bump to star in the sequel, which may start shooting as soon as 2019. But whether or not this is actually correct, the inevitability of Doctor Strange 2 has been confirmed not only by Cumberbatch but by Kevin Feige as well. When asked about continuing the role by deadline, Cumberbatch didn't mince words. He told the publication, just try to stop me. That's all kind of lined up as far as I'm aware, but who knows? I mean, you know, the problem is, how does he get out of where he's at? But that's the only thing. And while doing press for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Feige confirmed to Cinema Blend that Doctor Strange 2 would be set a number of years after the first. In December 2018, Hollywood Reporter even confirmed that Doctor Strange director Scott Derrickson would return to helm the project, but of course, we're not likely to get many more details about Doctor Strange 2 until after Phase 3 is complete. While a sequel based around the Sorcerer Supreme hasn't been officially confirmed, Marvel isn't playing nearly as coy about King T'Challa's second solo outing. It doesn't have an official title or release date, but Black Panther 2 has been officially confirmed by the studio. Which isn't exactly a huge surprise, considering the original became one of the highest-grossing films of all time and Marvel's first film to receive a Best Picture nomination at the Oscars. Not only is the sequel officially happening, but Feige revealed to Entertainment Weekly that the concept is already coming together nicely. He said, One of the favorite pastimes at Marvel Studios is sitting around on a part one and talking and dreaming about what we would do in a part two. There have been plenty of those conversations as we were putting together the first Black Panther. We have ideas and a pretty solid direction on where we want to head with the second one. 
writer-director Ryan Coogler is officially on board. And while nothing is confirmed, it's expected that the principal cast, including Chadwick Boseman, Lupita Nyong'o, and Tanai Guerrera, will also return. It's even been rumored that Michael B. Jordan's Eric Killmonger could return in some capacity, despite being left in no condition to do so at the end of Black Panther. In light of the megabucks that film made, we're likely to get additional details on this highly anticipated sequel sooner rather than later. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite MCU movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.